Good morning, one and all. Myself Akriti Kolge from Vivekananda English High School, and today I'll explain you about our project that is greenhouse farming based on the theme water crisis. Nowadays, due to water crisis, we are planning to reuse the wasting water and try to get optimal use of water so that we are balancing the need of an hour. We have used a geodesic dome. A geodesic dome is a hemispherical thin shell structure based on a geodesic polyhedron. The unique shape of dome leads to the proper supply leads to the proper supply of sunlight and it maintains the temperature inside, which is favorable for growing plants. We have used basin water from urban areas, which is purified and filtered, and it is suitable for growing the plants. The further part will be carried forward by my teammate Rubwin. Good morning everyone. As we all know, a large amount of water has been wasted in urban areas from buildings and societies. So we have decided to reuse this basin water from all the buildings in urban areas. So first of all, this water will be collected and it will be stored in a tank. Then this water will go for sedimentation process where all the impurities will sink down and the water will be filtered. As the sedimentation process takes time, we have two sedimentation process tanks. After this, the water will go for filtration in which we have used many nets and filter paper from which the water will be purified again. After filtration, the water will go for purification. In purification, we have used charcoal as charcoal prevents the growth of insects as well as it prevents the growth of impurities. Thus, it prevents the root rot disease which is caused to plants and there is well growth of plants. The further part will be con continued by Akruti. Once water is collected in the tank, it will flow through pipe with help of motor in the circular field. We have used the process of drip irrigation due to which the water is not wasted. We have added neem leaves in the soil to increase the fertility of the soil. We can grow plants like ginseng, gold seal or feverfew in the greenhouse farming. The further part will be explained by Shiva. So let me carry this from here. We are uh, to imply this idea, we are using this circuit which is by, uh, which is controlled by Arduino and this are and connected to the soil moisture. The soil moisture is placed in the placed in the center so the so the pump can supply the water through the pipe through the method of drip irrigation. I am Krishna Reja and I will tell you the uh, the component like relay module. Uh, the relay module works on the principle of the electromagnetic attraction. It, the, it controls the high voltage devices. It has a control. It has an iron core, which is wound by a control coil. I will tell you about the component Arduino. Arduino read the inputs like coding and give the output to the uh, activate like devices like activating motor, uh, turning on the LED. The further part will be continued by Ruben. So we have the next component that is the battery. In our model, we have used three batteries of 9 volt each. This battery is of zinc carbon type. The next component is the soil moisture sensor. In our model, it senses the water in the soil and it works on the principle of dielectrics. The sensitivity of this soil moisture sensor can be easily changed with the help of potentiometer. The next component is the pump. The flow rate of this pump is 80 to 120 liters per hour and its maximum lift is 40 to 110 millimeter. In our model, it is used to flow the water through the pipe. The further part will be continued by Krishna. I will tell you about the significance of the project. The significance of this project is the reuse of the water. This is a conservation of water. The reused water will be stored and purified and used for the plants. The con the medi the in the greenhouse, there are medical there are medicinal plants which will be profit for the medical field and the in the greenhouse there is a proper supply of sunlight the good quality of soil uh, so the plants get nutrients the further part will be continued by the show uh, so as we decided the theme of water crisis we are trying to use the water uh, use the waste water from the buildings and uh, the waste wa the waste water will be used uh, as maximum as possible uh, the, the use of this water will be 
will be for the plants inside which uh, which are herbal and uh, other useful plants it uh, more than that it will help for, uh, help us financially uh, and it uh, the fi the financial help will help to maintain maintain the model, uh, maintain this greenhouse thank you so i'm going to demonstrate about the working of our project so first of all the arduino has been connected to the relay module and the relay module to the water pump when we give the power supply the water the soil moisture sensor senses that there is no water in the soil and it sends the message to the arduino the arduino sends the message to the relay module and as we can see the water pump starts as soon as the water the soil moisture sensor senses that the water has reached to the soil it again sends to the message to the arduino and the arduino to the relay module because of which the pump stops and the water stops flowing in the soil and we have used this method drip irrigation method